Welcome. Welcome to uh, the podcast. Pumped to have you guys here. Stopping by. Don't forget your water whiskey. Stay hydrated out there. Pumped to have you guys here. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about me, who I am, what I do, and really get more connected with my community, my culture, my frequency out there, my vibe. Um, I want to put it out there. I want to put it all out there. I want to lay it all on the line. Um, my name is Sean Powers. I'm a professional MMA fighter, coach, business owner. Um, very, 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 very excited to uh, open up like this. Very nervous, but it's a good nervous, you know. Um, being a professional fighter, going out and really, really, really feeling what it's like when I'm nervous before I go out and fight, before I go out and compete in you know, in front of thousands of people and you know, put it on the line physically. <laughs> this way is different. It's uh you know, it's your emotions, it's your character, it's I don't know, it's it's different. It's e- as weird as it is, it's w- it's hard it's harder to do this than to fight. In my personal opinion, um, you know, just being quiet and just, you know, punches, elbows, kicks, knees, takedowns, submissions, for me personally, it's just easier. Like the action's easier. It's harder, harder to say it, but I want to bring that game up. I want to elevate. Um, I don't want to have any limitations. So. This is why I've gone down this road. I want to explore my verbal self. I've explored my physical self for a long time, you know, 10 years. I'm going to be 30 on October 19th. We are, it's the 7th today. And, um, you know, I started that when I was 18. And so I've been exploring my physical self for, for a while now. And um, I'm going to always be exploring that. I'm just adding this into my my arsenal, my bag of tools. So I really want to get to um, to know myself. And I think spending the time with myself and talking to myself is going to help me grow. Because that's why I'm doing this. Because I want to grow. I want to go to the next level. I want to elevate. Uh, And it's it's going to be work. And I'm ready to put in that work. So grab your water whiskey. Because I love to party. Um, Just the way that I party is different than others. Uh, And you... As, as you watch this transition and process and thing that I'm going to do, you'll see that. I love to laugh. I love to be goofy. I love to be silly. I love to play, but I love to be serious. I love to have fiery conversations. I love to um, push buttons. I love to ask questions. I love to interact every way every way i'm very competitive that's something that you'll you'll get to know about me you know once i once i get on something i'm just i'm on it i want to go i want to go i want to go and i'm i'm really good at delayed gratification so say you beat me at a game of tennis um (laughs) and that actually just barely happened i was in miami just this last weekend, and it's in, it's in my head. My friend kicked the shit out of me. I mean, I couldn't even return a serve. <laughs> but he is like, you know, he's a professional tennis player. Like, he's very good, very good. And so, I mean, he even pegged me with a ball. 
<laughs> which is interesting. It's like a hundred and ten mile an hour ball, and you know, my rea- I just yeah, it came right at me. I didn't move. I froze. So lesson learned, and <laughs> fucking it's on now. <laughs> I'm going to get a coach, I'm going to train, and we're going to have a rematch. And he may beat me again, and that's okay. But, you know, maybe by the 10th or 20th or 30th or, you know, at some point, at some point, you know, I'll show him I've I've, uh, pushed myself and went to a level where I'm not going to not know what to do. I'll at least know what I'm doing and, you know, be able to recognize why, why I made the mistake, so get hydrated, get motivated, um, and get into it. Uh, so very competitive, very into that, um, which is clearly why I got into MMA. I like the mental and physical push of competition on that level. Uh, and I don't really care what it is. It can be jujitsu, it can be wrestling, it can be boxing, kickboxing. Uh, I'm very into... You know, yeah, again, just the competitive side of those physical things. I just, it's so much fun, you know? It's so much fun to, like, try your hardest and whether or not you won or didn't win, it, it's just, it's fun to put it all out there, to sweat and just, like, and laugh and, like, feel the pressure of the game or whatever and just, like, oh, shit, like, if they make this point, you know, like, we could lose. I just, the feeling. That feeling. I love chasing that feeling. Um, That's another big thing you'll know about me. Uh, Let's see here. On the 19th, my birthday, my dirty 30, as they say, going to go skydiving. Very excited about that. That's going to be another level of uh, adrenaline and, you know, pushing past barriers. Heights is, I mean, I'm not like, yeah, I don't, okay, I'm afraid of heights definitely put me super high and I'll, I'll get nervous. I'll get scared. Uh, but I definitely want to, uh, you know, push that again. That's something that you'll know about me is I'd love to like, when I find that I'm not good at something, I'm very into like going into it. Like why, uh, for example, for instance, this last Saturday, I was teaching my class here at, uh, power MMA, which is where we're at power mixed martial arts. Um, in Roy, Utah, if you guys want to come train, uh, hit me up. Uh, but we were here and I, you know, I've got the backflip. Okay. I've got the backflip. I can run off the wall on backflip. I've got, I've got my bag of tricks. Okay. I have backflips, but front the other way, you know, it's very, you know, it's that spectrum thing. Um, it's yeah. I, and I just, I love to be balanced and I want to balance it out and to balance it out is, uh, front flips. So I actually landed one. It wasn't the cleanest landing, but I did land it. And, uh, that was so cool. That was so cool. It's so interesting how you would think going forward would be easier, but it's harder. It's much harder jumping up and then flipping, which was, was, was the detail that my friend Corbin, um, gave to me, which I think that's why I finally like hacked it and unlocked it was because I I got the detail. I got the information that I needed to adjust so that I could land it. And I did. So shout out to Corbin. Super grateful for that. Um, you know, he's able to come into the gym and help. He's a really great tumbler, 18 year old kid. Just, he's going to have his first fight on, um, November 9th. We're going to be doing an event here at the facility. So again, if you guys are in Roy and want to come see live amateur boxing matches, those will be happening here as well. So shout out to Corbin, the homie helping me out, pushing me. And it's so funny. I'm the coach, you know, that's, what's crazy about my job. I coach people and it's so interesting. Like I know that they're coming to me for information and I give them information and I, you know, I definitely have value and I, I'm, I'm there to help and go to the next level and whatever. But for me personally, I learn more from my clients than they learn from me, I think. I don't know why that is or what, you know, just that's that's how I, I feel. I feel like I get a lot of information out of them, um, especially because, like, I see a lot of, like, habits. And, I mean, this is all I do. This is all I do. I coach people, get people in the flow tank. 
sauna, martial arts training, mind training conversations. Uh, you know, we push it on every level. So super excited to uh, be able to do that as a job. But I'm just trying to, uh, I had something pop up on my computer for whatever reason, and it's it's going to say it's going to restart the computer, which would be bad because I'm in the middle of recording. So let's see if I can get this this on. Okay, I need to grab batteries. Time out, podcast. Time out. Okay, y'all, we're back, we're back, I'm back. I just needed to grab some double A's for my my little mouse here uh, so I can stop my computer from saying it's going to restart because that would be no bueno. Um, but going forward, again, just wanting to give you guys an intro of, of who I am. And I want to hear who I am, you know? What do I say? <laughs> what do I say? How do I be? That's what, uh, you know, in the self-deprecating and self-analysis, you, you know, you watch, you see. When I fight, I see myself. I see my mindset. I see it be stronger. I see it, you know, get negative. I see it deal with adversity and push through. Uh, you know, you get to watch all that, so... And, and again, you, you see what you say, you know, in your interviews leading up to the fight, you hear how you talk, you, you see your demeanor, you, you know, you see where, okay, I could have improved there or not. So I'm all about getting that information and watching it and learning from it. And, you know, it's hard. It's hard to watch yourself and hear yourself um, and see yourself when you're not being who you know you really are. You know, this is just l letting yourself go. Mm, but that's definitely, you know, takes time and you got to breathe through it and not get ahead of yourself, which I can definitely get ahead of myself. So coming here and slowing down and taking my time, I think is really going to help me. And again, I'm pumped, super pumped. So that's a little intro um, about me. And, you know, I'll keep opening up more and more and more and giving more and more and for more information away about myself and what what it is I'm trying to do and am doing. So because it's all in process and it all takes time and you know this these are my life goals these are these are huge things i'm working on you know it's not just you know i want to have one fight and be done or i want to do one podcast and be done like i want thousands of podcasts i want i mean i don't know that necessarily i want thousands of fight uh, fi fights um you know maybe 100 maybe 50 i mean but i want you know i want some substantial numbers i'm at mma i'm at like 21 professional MMA fights, Muay Thai won, won a uh, pro fight, Jiu-Jitsu, 20, 30 matches, and then no boxing. So, uh, oh, and then wrestling. I did, I didn't wrestle in high school. I was just, I just, yeah, I wasn't very motivated in high school. And uh, so I didn't, I missed out on that opportunity. But it's crazy how life works because I've come full circle. And uh, thanks to my friend Adam Fager, who is the head coach at Layton High School, he allowed me to come into the program and, you know, has helped me and given me, you know, tons of private lessons. And I'm super grateful for him and, uh, you know, that relationship because we've built a lot and, and talked about a lot and spent a lot of time together. So, um, 
super pumped that I'm able to go back and right a wrong, basically. Um, Because I wish I would have wrestled, you know, then. Uh, When I have lost certain fights or been out-wrestled or, you know, held in positions, uh, maybe if I would have wrestled back then, I you know, I could have won. So it's uh you know it's interesting paradox where I'm able to uh yeah make a a wrong or right not that it was wrong but it's you know it's cool it's cool good friendships good people there um super blessed to be able to be a part of that uh program when you know I can fit it in when there's a fight coming up when I have time to, to get over there. Cause obviously I'm still running all my programming and everything at my gym. Plus, you know, being a dad, I'm a co-parenting situation with my eight year old daughter. And so, yeah, just juggling it all. We got, we all, I'm, everybody's got tons of different things that they're trying to juggle, different aspirations, different goals, different, you know, things that we're working on. There's there's tons of stuff pulling us in a million different directions. And, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that, but <laughs> keep going. <laughs> so, let's see. I'm liking this. I'm, I'm freestyling. I'm going. I'm vibing. Uh, feels good. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good to talk to myself like this. I really feel already I'm I'm only 16 minutes in, about to be 17. There's something about the red light. What the hell is up with the red light that makes everybody, you know, like, nervous? It's like you go on TV, red light. You're like, oh, shit. Uh, someone's recording you on their phone or on a cam- you know, or a nice camera or audio recording you on a radio station. It's just, it's a little, little different, at least for me personally. Maybe, maybe there's people out there who handle it better, but for me, it, it makes me a little nervous, but a good, a good nervous now that I'm, you know, really accepting it and, and going into it. I mean, like I put the camera there. I got myself in front of this microphone uh, the other times it was just kind of like, oh, this is this is a part of it. But it was a part of the, you know, yeah, we weren't fighting there, but it's it's still a, a tool to show you how, you know, what do you really think, right? And, like, what, uh, what are you saying? Because you can think something but then say something totally different. So I may think like, you know, I want to be the best fighter in the world. But then I say, you know, something that's not as strong as that. And so, and I've definitely been in those situations. So, they've, it's, you know, it's been interesting to to see how that all plays out, you know. Win the fight, don't win the fight. It's just a good... uh way to see how synced up you are with yourself because obviously if you're super synced up you know there's not going to be you know these big big off offsets you know I remember I uh, fought in uh, Boise Idaho for Bellator at the CenturyLink Arena a couple years ago and you know I was going into the fight like you know super prepared super ready what at least what I was thinking, right? Um, and more more than anything, like thinking mentally. And I went in there and got TKO'd, and you know, it was like looking back on it now, I'm just like, wow, 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 wow. What I thought and what actually happened were just you know so different. But I was you know I was going through a breakup and. It was just, it was, yeah, I was just in it. My head space was just, you know, I wasn't with myself. How about that? I wasn't with myself. I was like entrapped and, and not, not that it's like, you know, her fault that I was entrapped. Like I did that to myself. Um, yeah, I did that to myself. So my goal is to never do that again, which is why I've, you know, I'm filming myself and recording myself. So I hold myself accountable and I remember what I say and, 
you know, stay with me, stay with myself. I've got to stay with myself. I can't leave myself. I can't leave myself. I've got to stay with myself. If I want to fulfill my goals and dreams, I need to stay with myself. And this is one way that I can stay with myself from what I've seen. Because I am just, you know, watching others that I aspire to be like or am motivated to be like. And, uh, of course, I'm going to still be Sean Powers. I'm going to still be me. But it doesn't mean I can't be inspired by things they're doing and add them into my arsenal, you know. That's the coolest thing about right now is you can, you know, pick from there and pick from there and pick from there and like put it in a box, shake it all up, and then that's you. Take that trait. Take that trait from Gary V and take that trait from Aubrey Marcus and take that trait from, you know, Mr. Rogan or take that trait from Mr. White or take that trait from Habib. Mike Posner, Elliot Bisnow, whoever, right? Um, and add it. Just add it. Add it to your game, your repertoire. And uh, shake it all up and put your flavor and spice on it and zing on it. And out comes you, your individual self. It's awesome super cool so I think I'm going to end 21 minute, 22 minutes I went and I'm not going to over push it I'm not going to try and take on more than I can right now slow steady steps in the right direction and that's how you get somewhere so thank you for listening I appreciate it the one thing that a lot of people don't know that I want to share with you guys is when I was 22 years old, I came to the city for the first time. I was playing in the Canadian football league, playing my first pro football game. I was playing for the Calgary Stampeders. We were playing the BC Lions. I was so excited. Two days later, I got cut. <laughs> the dream shattered. Sent home with seven bucks in my pocket. I was like, wait, no, I got to play in the NFL eventually. Those are my big goals. That's my dream. Realized that, that playing in the NFL was the best thing that never happened. Because it got me here. So my point is, look, you're going to get your ass kicked. You're going to get the shit kicked out of us. You got to get up. You got to have faith that the one thing you wanted to happen oftentimes is the best thing you'll never have. So have faith. And just keep that in mind. Keep loving it. He fights on a sunset. You